Hello, Show Nervous here. Thank you very much for stopping by the channel. I really do appreciate your time. I'm going to talk about Omarosa Manigold, right? I saw her maybe a, last week. It was during the, it was before the election. She was on CNN. I saw a recording of it on YouTube, right? And she was being interviewed about Donald Trump. So this interview was before the election and Omarosa has had a close proximity to Donald Trump in the past, right? We know they had a falling out and Omarosa since has spoken about Donald Trump periodically and it's never really in a great way. She's pointing out the things that she saw was wrong with Donald Trump, controversy, negative things, right? And he has responded periodically to her throughout the years. If you recall, he referred to her as a dog, literally a dog, D-O-G. Uh, but I talked about Omarosa a couple of months ago because Omarosa was in another interview and she looked pasty grayish in skin tone. She had this hair that looked as if some sort of chemical had failed in it. Uh, she did not look like the Omarosa that I was used to seeing right now. I believe that Omarosa was undergoing some sort of skin change. She was uh, lightening up her skin, right? And I don't think it looked good. I don't know this for a fact, but that's what it looked like to me. I don't know which skin lightening, uh, lighting, which skin lighting therapy she was using, right? But we know that uh, many of them, you will revert back to a complexion that you were before or quite close to what you were before. With that said, Amarosa can do what she wants. She can do what she wants. You know, Amarosa has always appeared to me to be a really confident woman, right? I never really heard her um, talk badly about other women based on those other women's skin tones. I've never really heard her do that. Like say, you know, light skinned women, this or that. I don't think I've ever heard Omarosa talk about things didn't work out for her in life because of colorism. I, I don't think I've heard that before. Quite frankly, she's been quite successful in um, the things that she's tried to accomplish. With that said, in this most recent interview, it appears to me that Omarosa is no longer using whatever therapy she was using to lighten her skin, right? Look at her. She's reverting back to being melanated, right? And, you know, to be honest, I think Omarosa looked great as a jet. She's getting two jet because two jets because Omarosa was, you know, clearly on the dark skin spectrum. Jet, jet, brown, clearly. And I think it was a great looking complexion. Some people, you know, probably lighten their skin in a way where it looks good on them, or maybe you can't tell. But clearly, Omarosa did not look the same. And I do not believe that it was just the lights, right, that made her <clears throat> uh, look the way that she was looking a couple of months back. I'll put a link to that video that I did so that you can see the picture, right? So Omarosa, in my opinion, an attractive, dark-skinned black woman, Jet Jet Brown, right, in the past, Nice features, uh, I think, right, my opinion, but her opinion matters most about herself, right? Her reflection matters most to herself, and I think that the reverting back might be her saying that, oh, I didn't look so great when I was pasty, white, and grayish looking uh, a couple of months back. The hair is reverting back to... I don't know what was going on with that hair. 
Um, I'll also put a picture of what I'm talking about when she was looking pasty grayish with frazzled hair, right? So it is what it is. She can do what she wants either way, but she looked her best to me as we first saw her. Jet, jet, dark skinned black woman, Omarosa. And Omarosa is one of those people that I believe can be really active during this uh, four years that Donald Trump will be in the office, right? Quite frankly, I'm surprised that she hasn't been permanently hired to be on MSNBC yet, right? Because they do not, that channel to me does not like anything about the Republican Party or Donald Trump. So she would be a great person to have up there all the time talking about Donald Trump. This is a time where she can really make some money. She needs to be paid. Kick that crybaby Van Jones off. And I'm not a big, big fan of MSNBC or Fox News or CNN. I kind of watch all of them. I just kind of rotate watching these different shows, hearing what they are saying opposite of each other. But it's you, you've got to survive in this time, right? Finances are necessary. And I think that Amarosa will make sure that she makes some money uh, during this Donald Trump presidency, right? And maybe she gets paid more to be on different networks versus just having a job on one network, right? But we're going to see a lot of Amarosa. Uh, and I'm going to enjoy watching her talk about... Uh, what she thinks during this presidential uh, four years that Donald Trump will have. And then there's going to be some rebuttals, right? Donald Trump's going to have people rebuttaling or someone who's just really a supporter and fan of Donald Trump will rebuttal whatever Omarosa has to say about him. So it's going to be uh, interesting to see if she continues, in my opinion, to revert back to her dark skin self uh, or how, you know what she's going to look like a month from now because that grayish whitish look was not complimentary in my opinion any thoughts social nurse again thank you very much for stopping by I really do appreciate your time